I am now on the MTK hotline, and I'd like to welcome a very good friend of the show. His name is Steve Summers, and he's the host of the Oldies Time Machine, heard around the world on community radio. Steve grew up in Montpelier, Vermont, and now resides in Tennessee. Steve, welcome to the Mop Tops and the King. Glad to be here, Steve. It's a pleasure to have you. You know, Steve, you're the most famous person I've interviewed up to this point. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> Steve, I love your show. I love your show as well. Oh. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> That's uh, very kind of you. How long have you been doing the Oldies Time Machine, by the way? Oh, let's see. It's been uh, almost 25 years, 23 years or so. I, it started at Keene State College in the the mid 2000s, and uh, from there, uh, it was only on one station. Then I moved down to Tennessee and found there, were, there was no community stations down here that I could actually do the show on. So I picked up uh, a station in uh, Bellows Falls, Vermont, and I was still on in Keene, New Hampshire, because I had a buddy there that would still air the show. And then from there, it just kind of grew. Did you always want to be in radio when you were a kid? I always wanted to do something in radio. A anytime I would see a microphone, if I was able to uh, <clears throat> talk on the microphone and stick a speaker out a window, that was me. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fun. I know you went to broadcasting school in Boston in the late 60s. What was that like? That was one of my best experiences ever. It was a junior college, and it was located right in Kenmore Square. And the interesting thing about it is that in my dormitory, which was a hotel at the time, and the, because the college was in the process of buying the hotel, on the other side of the hotel was WNAC-TV and WRKO, the big rock station yeah. in Boston. And we got a chance to see some of the jocks like uh, Dale Dorman and J.J. Jeffries and uh, Chuck Knapp and so forth going to the station. I got a chance to actually meet a couple of the jocks going into the station. And uh, it was just a absolutely great experience, uh, not only from learning what I did about broadcasting, but it was just meeting the different variety of different characters, different people that went to school there from mostly New England. Who were the DJs, would you say, that influenced you the most? I always liked at WABC in New York. I liked um, Dan Ingram, big Dan Ingram. I liked him on WABC in New York. So, Steve, tell us about your show, The Oldies Time Machine. Well, The Oldies Time Machine was something that I wanted to do. I was working for another station, and I started there on the air. Then I went into sales, but they really didn't have a spot to do an oldies show. So one day I was driving down a street near Keene State College and heard the local college station, WKNH, and I said, gee, uh, you know, I could go in there and maybe do a show and it would be fun and went and produced an oldie show, which I, I did live every Sunday night for three hours, did a lot of preparation before ever doing the show itself. It slowly uh, gained in listenership as um, I got people calling from all over the area, although the radius of the station was only about 20 miles or so, uh, I got I got a chance to talk to some of the students and they were able to get it to stream on the internet. And once that happened, I started to get some uh, emails from like uh, Arizona and down into Connecticut and pretty much all over the country. So it was pretty, it was pretty wild. It was pretty yeah. interesting. Steve, I like the variety that you have on the oldies time machine. You have the Motown memory, the Instrumental Nugget, the Elvis Moment, which I like, of course, and the doo Whopper. Do you have a favorite doo Wop group? Well, I like Dion and the Belmonts. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of groups, and, I, and I'm co constantly finding groups that I never knew existed, music I never even listened to growing up, and that's been a joy of doing the program, is just discovering music that I never knew was out there. And, and sometimes they weren't very big hits, but yeah. They were big maybe in New York City or in, you know, New Jersey or something, but not maybe not worldwide. We're speaking with Steve Summers. He's a good friend of the Mop Tops and the King. He's also the host of the Oldies Time Machine. Steve, I understand you were working at a main radio station the day Elvis died. Tell us about that. Well, it was 
up in Presque Isle, Maine. I worked for a 5,000 watt station up there. And at that time, the news came over the AP teletype wires. And it was August 16th, 1977. And Elvis was due to appear within four or five days uh, in Portland, Maine at the auditorium, municipal auditorium down there in, in Portland, Maine. And it came across the wire that Elvis had passed away. And my immediate response was, oh, no, you know, there was probably, you know, thousands of people in the state of Maine, even in the Portland, Maine area that were planning on going to the concert. And yeah. now they were going to miss out because he passed within four days of the concert. As I understand, they still had the concert, but they played oh. recorded music and nobody wanted their money back. Nobody yeah. wanted to have a refund. So they just played recorded music. But what a terrible thing to happen for those that wanted to turn out and see the king and maybe for the first time and never got that opportunity yeah it was a shocker steve it's been a pleasure having you on the mop tops and the king and before we say goodbye where can people go to learn more about your show to my website oldiestimemachine.com fantastic all right steve i'd like to send you off with a song of your choice any song at all what can i send you off with I like Roy Orbison and have always appreciated his singing. And I really enjoy his ballad, Crying, from 1961. I love Roy Orbison, too. Plus, it fits nicely with our three degrees separation of Elvis and the Beatles. Thank you so much, Steve, for coming on the Mop Tops and the King, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you very much, Steve.